No one is immune from the effects of this fentanyl crisis our community is facing, from our schools to the streets, now even our businesses. It's a problem that has wide-reaching consequences, including crime. APD says drug crimes are skyrocketing. Well, now a Bernalillo County commissioner is leading a conversation among business owners affected by this crisis. Felice Romero was in on that conversation. Felice, what are they saying? Walt Benson isn't just a county commissioner, but he owns two businesses in Albuquerque. He says when one of his employees overdosed in the bathroom, he knew more of these conversations were needed, especially in the business community. This afternoon, he hosted the Educate and Equip Employers Through the Fentanyl Crisis Panel. An agent with the DEA, an attorney, the New Mexico Department of Workforce Solutions, and the director for Fathers Building Futures were also panelists. Business owners attended and tackled issues like how to handle crime as a result of the drug epidemic, high employee turnover, and even resources to provide employees struggling with addiction. We're really just going to be scratching the surface today. There's so many, there's so many nuances to the problems that are out there, and what we're trying to do is really hit it from a high level, but uh, there's the experts that we've got here have a huge background of expertise and that's what they're bringing to the table. Benson owns two Baskin Robbins locations here in Albuquerque and encourages other business owners to get involved with the county. They work alongside UNMH and other nonprofits to help the city and employers and workers navigate addiction. Now, coming up at 6, I'll have more on the programs and that they will have throughout the week regarding awareness courses. Um, more on that at 6.